In this video, we're going to be looking at conditional formatting. Conditional formatting allows you to change the formatting of a cell depending on the value it's been entered. So for example, if I were to enter male into this cell, I could add conditional formatting so that it automatically changes the background to blue. I could also add further conditional formatting so that if I entered the word female, uh, the background in that cell would change to a different color. This is helpful because it allows you to quickly see at a glance what's been entered into different cells. Now to add conditional formatting, we must first select a range of cells that we'd like to add conditional formatting to. And we do that by clicking and dragging our mouse over a range of cells. We then go to Format and Conditional Formatting. Now in this window, um, I'm able to set up different styles or different formatting depending on what's been entered into the cells. Now the first style I'm going to set up is if male has been entered into this range of cells. So in inverted commas, speech marks, I type the word male, I then click on new style, and I'm also going to keep call this male as well. And then I'm going to go to background, and I'm going to change the background to blue, and change the font color to white. And you can see a preview down here. I then click OK. I'm now going to set up uh, another condition for females. So I click condition 2. This value is equal to female. And I'm going to create a new style and call this one female. And change the background. And I think I'll leave the text as black and click OK. Now, if I close down this window by clicking OK, you should see the cells over here in this range change colour. So, as you can see, conditional formatting is quite useful because it allows you to quickly see at a glance what's been entered into a cell. Sometimes when you're looking at a spreadsheet which is full of lots of entries, conditional formatting can be a really useful tool to help you quickly pick out certain bits of data. Now it's time for you to have a go. Can you see any other data in your spreadsheet where you could add conditional formatting? 